it's me, Miss Fulfix. I hope you guys are well. We have this beautiful, very pretty uh, patient. Do you want to tell everybody why I treat this? What about the history of this lesion? Have you had an interesting history? Yeah, so actually I had this uh, from when I was actually 14 years old, very young. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I started actually dancing when I was 18. So I, I danced over, is it 12 years? Uh -huh. So when, when I started dancing, it was uh, our performance, we do a lot on high heels. Yeah. So actually then, this, uh, this my problem start getting worse. Yeah. Because you know, especially when you're in heels and you dance on the stage. Yes. You have a big pressure yeah. on your foot and stuff and jumping. Yeah. So yeah, then it was really, really hard for me sometimes to do my dancing. Because, oh. you know, I need to jump, I need to do choreography or something. Yes. And there is a days when it's really, like really painful. So I just need to find a way. So how did you do it? How did you dance with this massive thing in, the, in your foot? You know, what? sometimes I would try just to use something myself, just to make the skin a little bit thinner. Uh, yes, please. We might not need it, but yes. Just and then I would feel just a little bit released, but yeah. I think it's deeper than I can reach yeah. it because I'm really ticklish. Ah. I was really scared to go somewhere. Uh -huh. Like but you're not yeah. ticklish now. You're quite. Your foot's or either you're nervous or um, you're. I think I'm trying to relax. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it, it looks definitely still like a corn. I'm just gonna scoop yes. it out. You've seen this before. It's not yes, that scary. I saw that. I love it. <laughs> so we, she, she, she uh, Instagrammed me a couple of weeks ago, and, and because sometimes I do talk to a couple of people, I was like, oh, tell me uh, when you come. She's like, yeah, she, 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 she you will. I can't wait to see you. Yes. I remember that. Yes, I come literally like I was so excited, like I'm going on a date. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> so I went. Oh, she replied to me. Okay. <laughs> I went. <laughs> this is, you, you need to go on more dates. <laughs> yeah, we both gone. <laughs> no, really? So I was laughing. I said to my husband, "Oh, look, she responded." They said, "Oh, babe, it's just the foot." <laughs> <laughs> He was not impressed. It's like she yeah. just replied to your message. Yeah, like <laughs> so it's quite deep. I think it looks tiny, but actually it's probably deep. Yeah, it's yeah. quite deep. I've taken three layers off, but it's still we're still going. We're still tunneling yeah. uh, um, through. Um, and and sometimes you can put some acid underneath so maybe in some of the videos you put see me put a stick in yeah. um that's called silver nitrate and, and sometimes by putting the silver nitrate in um yeah. it, it it delays it from growing back and sometimes if you use it enough it can stop it from growing back yeah. so we'll put some silver nitrate in it now silver nitrate is a cool stick it can burn the tissue a little bit obviously obviously sometimes you can get allergic reaction because of any medicine you can get allergic reaction yes, yes. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna put it in there and and what it does it kind of breaks down the corn tissue uh -huh. underneath so that hopefully it doesn't grow back or grows back really kind of slower but i think you wearing your trainers will help Yes, yeah, scoop down there, but some people just use it like a 15 blade. And what you're looking for is kind of like a different kind of color change because right now you can still see uh, and you can still hear the clicking of it. Oh, sorry, sorry, oh, sorry. She moved a little bit, that's fine. Wow, that was painful. Yeah, she moved a little bit, that's fine. Took a little tiny blood bit there. That's fine. Okay. Wow. Okay, gonna you continue. Ready? The reason why it's so sensitive because we're almost done. Wow. Um, and it's closer to normal skin, but it's not almost done. Like it's almost done. But because you're a bit sensitive, you're feeling a little bit of the scrape now. And when you move, it yeah. cuts into the skin. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, which, I don't want to Which jump. is fine, which is yeah. fine. Uh, because remember, I have steady hands, but when you jump, if I have a steady hand, you jump upwards, this cuts into the skin. I don't want to scare you. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm used to it. Um, but let me... Can I have the, uh, the thing that stops bleeding, the brown solution? So I'm just going to put a brown solution to stop bleeding. It's going to sting. And it's okay if you jump. Because now, because it's bleeding, I can't see the base that clear because yeah. it's red. 
I literally just felt like I was sweat. Feeling good. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. You're not feeling sick or anything? No, no, no. Was I, it? I was just... Uh, yeah. I didn't expect it to be so yeah. painful. No. So this is going to be a bit painful, but it's to stop the bleeding, okay? Okay. And let's pour that, some of that in there. Yeah, oh, in here. Yeah. I apologize in advance, okay? Sorry if I jump out, try not yeah. to. Oh, yeah. Can I have another one, please? And you can dip it in for me. please so I'm just gonna put the core stick in the thing that I was talking about the silver nitrate and then I'm gonna try to scrape a bit more off this is gonna sting a little bit I apologize in advance but I can't oh yeah that's fine that's fine and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just give it a rest and then I'm just going to push it to see if I've done enough, okay? Because your foot's so sensitive, Yes. I don't know if you can tolerate anymore, but we'll see, okay? I've scooped out majority of it. So uh, what we've done is, uh, A, because there was some bleeding and also because we're treating the, the uh, corn itself, we put some silver nitrate on it, a core state that helps treat the wart but also stops bleeding, which is fantastic. Initially, it's a bit painful. Like you said, like, yes, but we are still here. Which she's still here, she's still alive, which yeah. is great. So what we're gonna do now is, like I said before, corns are pressure related. So we're gonna do a semi-compressed felt. Just gonna and do a semi-compressed felt, you know, and, and this felt is really, really fantastic stuff. It helps really deflect the pressure from the area, and we want to just contour it to to the to the foot. So just like that, just a couple of millimeters below the bread space and we're just going to cut all of this out double that double that so this takes years of practice so don't worry if you're a new podiatrist and uh, or, or like a, a, a just a graduated person beveling takes years of practice look at that one one piece bevel, bevel. Uh, and what we're going to do is just cut a hole and this is really just putting your finger where the where the lesion is and just cutting a hole and usually I just do one in the middle kind of like this put it on like that yeah it's around that and then you just cut okay good this artwork and you can under bevel too just to create that lesion you have a little tiny hole there, which is fantastic, and just put it, pop it on there. I'm just going to cut out a little bit more. Yeah, okay, and I'm going to take my scissors, please, thank you. And what I'm going to do is just put that on there. And because there was a bit of bleeding, I'm always a bit careful, so I'm just going to put some iodine on it. Take this, this, so I'll stick it back there, put it on top, and we're going to put an iodine on, we're going to dress it, we're going to tape it, and you're going to leave this on for a couple of Day. So in a dream for me, please. Thank you. Just pop that into the middle. So the pain, the pain that uh, the pain that you had before is gone. Obviously, you have a different type of pain, right? That pressure. You said that. What did you say? The release. Um, pressure now is less. Yeah. Just something new pain. But, yeah. <laughs> but that pain, that burning pain, is also um, going down. It's, it's literally you can feel that something is out. Yeah, fantastic. That makes any sense. Yeah. And it didn't take that long to take it out actually, did it? It's quite easy to take out. So I'm just going to take that. So this is just to take to secure it. And so usually these can come back in like a couple of weeks or it can come back in a couple of months. So we're just waiting to see 
Nepal um, long in the trip. Is there anything you wanted to do myself? Um, not right now, so you're going to keep this dry, not get it wet, so you're going to shower, but we'll give you a limbo to wear. So limbo is just a, a waterproof kind of seal, seal that you wear, like when you put your arm and things like that. Uh, and not right now. So after once it's, see Daisy, right. after once it's done, then you can start cleaning your feet with a urea base cream, which I will email you. Um, and just wear, wearing correct shoes. It might be worthwhile also getting you yourself some orthotics, like insert shoes inserts, where you can um, kind of cut the same hole in the insert, okay. in the plastic insert, and then put it in your shoes and it will mimic this. And then hopefully it will reduce it from coming back. Yes. So we can actually help them to do it. You can see the bottom of the foot. But you can get like a cheap one, like a five pound one. Yeah, one that you can cut, not like the hard one, but like the yeah. soft gel one and you cut home in the middle. Yeah. Because, because orthotics can cost a lot of money, like four, five hundred now. But yeah. if you can try to do one yourself, um, then try, try doing that. Yeah. But now we know you're very sensitive, so yeah. we'll just have to, next time we'll see you.